Okay, so let's get started. So uh, this is a first in a series of four webinars, uh, which is around uh, how do you how do you make your entry in the Salesforce ecosystem or how do you build your career in the Salesforce ecosystem? Some of it is based on my past experience and, and some of it is based on what I've seen uh, in the industry and in the ecosystem over the years. And uh, before we begin, I know that uh, for people in India, this is kind of the end of the day. Uh, for people in on the on the West Coast in US, it might be still early morning. So it's perfectly fine if, 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 uh, if you doze off in between, but uh, I'll try and keep it a little bit lightweight and um, more of an introductory session for this week. And then next week we'll, we'll dig deeper into one of the specific aspects. Uh, but the idea is that what we'll cover today is what is the opportunity in the Salesforce ecosystem? How do you go about, uh, what is the approach that you go about entering the Salesforce ecosystem? What I really want to do today is I actually want to hear from people and uh, we'll reserve about 15 to 20 minutes. This is a 45 minute session, but pretty much uh, half of it I'll reserve for Q&A because I did receive a lot of questions on, on LinkedIn as well. And then we'll kind of wrap it up and set the tone for uh, another session that we'll we'll do next week. So before we do that, uh, I do want to quickly introduce SaaS Guru. Uh, it's a cert prep platform. Uh, cert prep means certification prep. I do want to make it very clear. It's not a it's not a platform where you actually get terms or where you can use as a as a shortcut to clear exams. That is that is not at all the intention. The idea is that it is a platform very similar to Trailhead, which uh, focuses on building out your core concepts. There are some differences. It is tailored based on your assessment, progress, and performance. Uh, it actually helps you prepare. So for example, if you do really well in an assessment, then the next assessment will have like even more difficult questions. If you don't do so well, it will actually prepare you uh, for, for more entry-level questions. It is summarized. So as you can see, like there is a snapshot uh, on the left and uh, there are short videos and then there are micro modules, again, very similar to the philosophy that Trailhead has. And in that sense, it also complements Trailhead. It is gamified uh, with study groups, uh, nudges, challenges, and a global leaderboard. Like I've, I've used their platform. I've seen their platform evolve over a period of time. I think uh, the first time I saw it was when it was in a beta stage. And since then, it's it's come a long way. So it's a... It's a fun way of uh, learning Salesforce. And again, the same methodology that, that Salesforce has adopted with Trailhead. And they've done a really good job in terms of um, complementing Trailhead with these uh, cert prep capabilities. The best part about uh, SaaS Guru, and that is the part which I like the most, and that is where I come in as well, is that it is community powered. Everything on SaaS Guru platform, the content, the live classes, the mentoring, uh, everything is driven by community. So they have a concept of uh, gurus. Um, I'm one of them. And then there are several others who, who have been in the ecosystem for, for a long time and are have decided to contribute. And they have a certain mission called uh, Mission 100 uh, into 100, which I'll, which I'll talk about um, as well. And the best part, like uh, when you join the Slack channel, there are actually career opportunities that uh, SaaS Guru actually shares with you in terms of who's hiring. So as I said, like uh, it, the eventual goal is it's a cert prep platform based on conceptual learning. And that is where it kind of resonates well with Trailhead. Um, the idea is that you you learn, you want to learn a certain product. Uh, you, uh, you want to get certified on that product. How do you go about it? Obviously you leverage Trailhead and then you leverage SaaS Guru along with Trailhead to, to do a certain, to, to, to do a few things, which is benchmark your performance, for example, as I said, like you take the first practice test, you it gives you a certain score. Uh, it establishes a benchmark for you. Maybe you are not so good in sharing. Maybe you are not so good in, in security or some of the other areas. Uh, personalize. So you can actually personalize content uh, based on based on uh, your own experiences. Uh, you can revise key, key concepts. Uh, you can practice. And then uh, the best part is that you can actually book classes with mentor. I think that is where... It is also different from Trailhead because Trailhead operates at a different scale and one-to-one -one mentoring or live mentoring is, is not possible. You can actually do that on, on SaaS Guru. Um, moving on, uh, if you become a part of the SaaS Guru community, you get certification vouchers, you get product tips and updates. 
you can attend live classes and webinars again as i said like these these are run by gurus and experts uh, from all over the world like there are people from us uh, uae australia india running these and then there is a slack community which is which is and again the advantage of having these people over different time zones is that you are able to pretty much get help uh, across different time zones so um, all right so we'll we'll get started with the the agenda that i had so a little bit of introduction about me i've been in the salesforce ecosystem for a long time i started off in 2007 when it was a very small ecosystem and uh, uh, it's been 15 years and my wife calls it that i've been married to salesforce since 2007 because i do spend a lot of time uh, with it uh, it's been a, it's been a great journey in 2016 i became a salesforce mvp and then since then it's been 7 years and the journey continues i work for a company called cloudworks it's an australian salesforce partner uh, which is headquartered in sydney and we have a few offices in india as well and then since i've been around for a very long time i've done a number of uh, certifications uh, which i believe is is a good way to validate your skills and and learn new products um, i've also presented at a few conferences like dreamforce trailer dx and a few others and later this month i'm looking forward to presenting again at at dreamforce i run a local architect group i'm very active in the salesforce community i used to run the developer group earlier now i run the architect group um, in jaipur which is also called as the pink city of india and i am a ex certified technical instructor i actually used to teach um, the salesforce uh, trailer academy classes um, in for customers and partners in in apac and anz regions and as i said i am a i am a guru on uh, and an advisor on sas guru uh, specifically joined them for this mission which is 100 gurus uh, joining hands and uh, contributing to to skilling up uh, the next generation of our trail blazers uh if anyone asks me like what what do i do or how do i describe myself i i say i am a developer at heart uh, an architect by role and an evangelist uh, by passion and this is this is exactly what i learned love doing so as i said like as part of this introductory webinar i actually want to make you aware that like this is a massive opportunity that is that is there uh, in terms of the salesforce ecosystem and there are several reports that that uh, you'll 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 find which are which are published on salesforce the most notable one is from idc where they actually run it every year and they do some projection so uh, it says 308 billion in new business revenue this year and 724 billion by 2026 like we cannot even imagine what those numbers look like and i was actually looking at some of the statistics and this is well beyond like if you even if you put 100 countries uh, together this is well beyond the gdp of those countries so this is the kind of scale that we are talking about uh if you are in india like obviously the ecosystem is very strong uh, we are starting to see some effects in the it industry of what is being called as a looming recession i personally call it as a slowdown or a, or a correction uh, it is happening in despite the talks of slowdown if you if you go to any job site you will actually see that uh, there are a lot of partners who are hiring salesforce is still hiring so in that sense the ecosystem is, is still very very bullish not just in india but in other parts of the world but uh, i see a lot of people from india so i just actually wanted to call this out uh, specifically for the india audi audience in that sense as well like if you are somebody who's moving from a different ecosystem like you are a java developer a dot net developer you are in a digital marketing role then it's it's a fairly safe uh, bet to make in terms of your career choices if you are entering the sales for salesforce ecosystem assuming that you 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 are prepared to work hard and and do whatever is required to to get an entry in the ecosystem uh the best part about salesforce is uh, that it is not just technical roles so it you you don't necessarily need to be a developer you don't need to be an architect there are multiple paths you if you are a business analyst if you are a qa if you are even a like a sales or a service manager if you are good in digital marketing there are multiple paths that you can pursue and again all these paths are very well documented on the trailhead website if you just search for salesforce career paths on google it will likely take you there but there are a few paths which are obviously very rewarding which is one is salesforce developer salesforce architect salesforce consultant and salesforce admin so these are kind of i would say the the most common ones and then business analyst qa and some of the others are also are also um, uh, popping up 
Okay, and again, uh, like going back to the same slide, uh, Salesforce economy is massive. And again, this is a global side, like not just India, but you can see that there is impact pretty much in, in every continent. And, and I think that is the way it will be at least for the foreseeable future. Um, what do you do as part of learning? So obviously I'm assuming everyone here is familiar with Trailhead. If not, Akshay, if you could also drop a link to Trailhead uh, in the chat. It's a Salesforce self-learning platform. Again, the idea is that you, you leverage Trailhead along with a platform like SaaS Guru. Uh, you earn points, which is a gamified platform. You earn badges. Uh, and then once you feel confident enough, you, you appear for different certification exams. And once you take those exams, it actually acts as a good uh, validation of uh, your skill as well. Okay, so uh, I'm often asked, like, what is the value of Salesforce certifications? Why should I do a certification? Is it really worth it? And uh, like, as I said, I when I started 15 years back, like it was a completely different ecosystem. There was no trailhead. There was no SaaS guru. The only way to learn Apex or any, any Salesforce concept was through a book, which was usually that thick. And I actually have some of those books in, in my bookshelf still with me. So... Uh, I think if, if you are entering the Salesforce ecosystem now, you are actually very lucky in that sense. It's probably the best time. Like there are such resources like SaaS Guru and, and Trailhead, which make it easy. Uh, it's very important to get certified because it is a validation of your skill. And then there are a certain other aspects. And if you look at success stories in, in the Salesforce ecosystem, you'll, you'll come across several people who have actually made it from different domains. Like I know people who were in the hospitality industry, somebody who was a chef, but was really good with uh, good good with the computers and logic, and he actually entered Salesforce and is a is a very a successful functional consultant today. Uh, there are others people who have moved from the healthcare domain, people who have moved from digital marketing domain, and again the idea is that you you learn a skill and then then you get a validation on that skill by getting certified. The problem there is that there is too much to learn. Like for example, Salesforce has more than. 40 certifications, it has more than 70 products. And if you count products like Tableau, if you count products like Slack, uh, the, all those marketing products like Datorama, Marketing Cloud, Pardot, then it's too much to learn. And if you try and learn everything together, you will probably not be able to learn anything at all. So the idea is that you actually pace your journey. So if you are a starter, then probably the best starting point for you is the Salesforce certified admin uh, exam. Uh, this is what we expect uh, for anyone who's entering the Salesforce ecosystem that they actually know the basic uh, certified, basic admin concepts. After that, it really depends on you. If you are more of a point and click or a declarative uh, developer, or if you're more comfort, if you're not so comfortable with code, then app builder is a is is a neck, neck, is a good next starting point. There is also the business analyst certification, which is very very popular these days. And if you are specifically on the BA path or you work on in a BA role in a non Salesforce uh, domain, then it's it's a good logical next step for you. So this pyramid kind of defines that like there there is always things that uh, you know. Uh, there is things that you know that you don't know, and then there are things that you don't know that you don't know. So it's it's a it's a mix of these three. And then uh, you can either go deep. For example, you could become a service cloud expert and, and uh, specialize in, in service cloud and become uh, a resident expert on service cloud. Or you could do enough like you, you know service cloud use cases. You know how things work in service cloud. And then you also explore the other clouds like sales cloud or some of the other clouds like experience cloud, which are usually used in conjunction with service cloud. So again, as I said, uh, you, you need to pace your journey. You need to pick your battles in that sense. And you need to pick your credentials in that sense uh, whenever you are starting uh, the journey. So why certification? So personally for me, like I have seen these three big advantages of getting certified. One is that it brings discipline to our learning. And I think regardless of uh, who, like I think there are more than 120 odd people on this call. All of us have been in school. All of us have been in college. And whenever we had exams, I think all of us studied on the last day or the last night. And we hoped that that would be enough. And that is just human nature. We procrastinate. And the, the way the exams are designed, I think like we, we usually uh, leave it to the last moment. So. Uh, to avoid that, and again, if you try and learn a product and you don't have an end goal in mind, if you're not getting certified or if you're not building demos, 
then trust me you'll never be able to you'll never be able to do it so um, certifications add a little bit of exam pressure which is always good and like i've done a lot of certifications but any time i sign up for a new one i still feel that pressure and if i'm not studying enough i feel a little bit of anxiety as well which i think is is a good thing it's a validation of your skill and this is something which i've said multiple times it uh, getting certified on a salesforce product or any product for that matter does not mean that you're an expert on it it means that you know enough uh, it, you know enough of the product to be able to use it you are able to understand the core concepts and then you will be able to apply them it's a very common misconception that if you are a if you are a certified resource on pardot or if you are a certified resource or anything that you know everything about it the, the products are so deep that there is no way absolutely no way that you can know everything about it and then specifically for this audience if you are new to the ecosystem or if you have recently joined the salesforce ecosystem then it drives you to be job ready so for example if you are coming from a java domain or a digital marketing domain which essentially means that you do not have um, you do not have any credentials to show Uh, or you do not have the project experience which is needed to get jobs then the advantage of getting certified is that uh, you can actually vouch for um, things that you 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 are certified you know the concepts and if needed you can apply those concepts as well so what exactly do you need to uh, be successful in the ecosystem and again uh, it's it's not rocket science but uh, it's also the place where most people fail you need to have a understanding of core salesforce concepts and when i say core salesforce concepts it means the core salesforce platform uh, there is absolutely this is absolutely non negotiable so uh, unless you have this core understanding you you will be caught short at some stage in in your salesforce journey if you are looking for a break then it's very important to have a simple and effective resume and this is a point which we will actually cover in one of the follow up webinars uh, in 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 the next 3 weeks you obviously need to have solid communication skills and again solid communication skills soft skills this is something which again i'll i'll cover in terms of some of the tips uh, which i can share and some of the things which i look for in people because i take a lot of interviews and usually when when a person introduces themselves i'm able to figure out like if communication is one of their uh, key strengths or not uh leadership skills so again this is an uh, giving back attitude and i, I think this is uh, one of the usps of the salesforce ecosystem that the idea of giving back and uh the idea of helping each other is 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 so big that if if you show that uh in in the way you conduct yourself then that can actually open up career opportunities for you and obviously like again another thing which is completely non negotiable is you need to be willing to learn willing to learn new things if you are not willing to learn then nobody can help you and if you are willing to learn then and if you put in the effort then nobody can stop you and again just to reiterate like despite despite whatever uh, economic situations we are in the global economy this is still a great opportunity to be a part of salesforce ecosystem and and uh, it's really there for you to tap it uh what we'll discuss in the future webinars as i said this is 45 minutes and i just wanted to keep it very high level so we'll talk about things like how do you build your resume and if you have any questions by the way please start putting them in the chat and i'll start taking them uh, once once i'm done with the slides i do have a few questions which which came to me and i'll i'll cover those as well uh, we'll in the future webinars we'll talk about how do you build your resume uh, like a quick uh, primer in terms of how to build a resume which stands out which is also simple not not over complicated we'll talk about some interview tips like if you are interviewing for an entry level salesforce role what are some of the things that you can expect you will be asked Uh, what are some of the things that can actually help you then a lot of misconceptions around cert prep are there and based on my experience again i'll i'll try and clear some of those misconceptions with with some do's and don'ts uh, i do want to cover uh, a few things like a, one of the very common questions i get is like how do i get a certification voucher how do i get i want to take an exam but i don't have a voucher uh this is purely coincidence this is purely timing uh, today we have launched this contest in collaboration with salesforce there is this person called gilda hiller at salesforce who's like probably one of the most helpful people in the in the salesforce ecosystem so she reached out to me and said that she wants to uh, she wants to help people out and she has 10 certification vouchers to give out uh what she also wants to do is she wants to hear uh, people uh, in terms of their passion what what certification they want to do why do they want to scale up on salesforce 
And if you want, you can take a screenshot of, uh, of this, or if you go to just my LinkedIn profile, you will see this post from earlier today morning. Uh, and feel free to share your journey uh, or your goals in terms of your learning goals. What do you want to do? And share it on LinkedIn or Twitter, latest by 10th of September. And Gilda will pick uh, 10 winners uh, based on the stories that they share and they will get uh, certification vouchers. And she's also promised some fairly exclusive Salesforce swag. So again, this is one of the opportunities. There are other programs as well and that I'll cover in, in, in uh, future webinars in terms of how you can actually get, get certification vouchers. One of the other questions which comes up very often is like there are freshers who have done Salesforce as part of their curriculum or who actually went out of the way and did a Salesforce certification. How do they actually enter the Salesforce ecosystem? Like there is, if you search for Trailblazer Connect Career Fair, this is an initiative by Salesforce where they actually allow you to participate in career fairs where there are partners. Like I've been a part of this these career fairs on the employer side. So we have actually hired a lot of people from, from these career fairs. These are people who are either from different backgrounds who are college freshers, but either have like at least a basic understanding of Salesforce, have done the entry level certifications. In that sense, it's a really good, really good opportunity for people who, who want to enter the ecosystem. Uh, there are also companies which are actually hiring. So I just did a quick search on, on LinkedIn and I actually know a couple of them personally as well. So Milan Leaf Consulting is another company which is hiring and 